In today's video, we will learn about some more functions of uh, list. And uh, for this, let's go to the Power Query editor. So here you can see you already are familiar with this table. So in today, we will learn about how we can get like uh, top channels, right? Top three channels. Um, for this, what we need to do is we will just create one list here. The list will be based on total revenue. So how we can create list? We just need to click FX. And uh, here we have to provide the column name total revenue. That's it. And uh, here you can see this is the list of uh, total revenue. Uh, before moving to this, uh, let me delete this and we have to select this table sales. So again, we need to click FX. Total revenue, this is the name of the column. So we have this list, right? And now we need to know the top three record from this list. So what we have to do is first we need to do sorting in descending order. So because uh, this is a list, this uh, expression is returning us a list. So we need to write one function here list dot sort and uh, the second parameter is order we have to provide the criteria the sorting criteria will be order dot descending this one that's it it's a typo problem order dot descending this one so here you can see we are getting the complete list in descending order so now we need only top three record so again we need to use the function in list that is list dot um, list dot range this is a function and returns a subset of the list beginning at an offset. So the first parameter will be list. And uh, then we have to provide the second parameter as an offset. So this list, the indexing for, for this list is started from from position zero, this is the zero level, zero, one, two, three, and so on. So we have to start from the zeroth level. So for this, we need to write zero. And then we need to provide the third parameter that how many records or how, how many rows we need. So how many rows we need? We just need three rows. So just write three. So this is the complete um, expression. And when I will confirm this expression, I will get uh, this, um, as you can see in the last 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So I will get 78550.8. So let me confirm it. And here you can see we are getting three rows, right? So we know we need to know that uh, these number, these, uh, these, these are the total revenue. And uh, we need to know that to which channel these three rows belong. So for this, we have to use a uh, merge query and uh, for joining two like data sets, the two data sets should be in a table form. So this is a list. We need to convert this list into table. So we have to click convert to table. And uh, then we just need to click OK. And here you can see this is a table now. And uh, you can see 
uh, this icon is, is being changed to table. Previously, the icon was, was a list. And now when you will click convert to table, this icon will be changed to table icon, right? So now we have uh, this table and uh, let's try to click. Now we, now we need to click merge query as new because we don't need to merge uh, our result within the same table. So we will make a new table, right? So here we have to choose the our table sales and we have this column we need to we need another table the other table will be the sales order for example sales order and uh, we need to click this uh, column header and uh, then we need to uh, make a left auto join with total revenue this one right so we will get all the rows from this call column and then we will get all the matching rows from the sales order if we don't have any matching row then we will get all the rows from the from the sales table but only get those rows from the sales order that will have some match right so in our case it doesn't matter if you choose uh, inner join or left auto join it, it doesn't matter right because our table both table belong to the same data set right okay so we will have to click okay and here you can see with every record we are getting one table right and uh, this table uh, because seven eight seven one one point six because two rows belong to this revenue and then we have a second record and the third and the third belong to only one row right so we need only a channel we have to click here and uh, then we need to choose channel only this one and click ok and here you can see we are getting uh, one row for the distributor and uh, we are getting uh, four row for the wholesale as uh, these four rows are same and uh, we need to apply some grouping so that we can get only unique uh, record so for this let's go to the click, click on the group by and here we have to choose uh, which column on which column we need grouping this is the sale order channel and uh, this is the name name you you can change you you can write any anything here and uh, which operation we need we need um, like average right uh, you can choose anyone like uh, i will show you yeah, because uh, our result will be the same you, you, you can apply any function like min max average and uh, let's click average because the average of these seven eight seven one one point six this average will be the same min will be the same max will be the same for all this that's why and uh, on which column we need to apply this average function this is the column one here that's okay click okay and here you can see we are getting uh, two rows two unique rows one is the distributor and the other one is the wholesale so this is how we can get a top record per channel so that's all about this video if you have any question you can write in the comment box and uh, if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you